Hello, Debbie. Hello, J Mac. Happy Monday, guys. Hi, Karen. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gina. It's noon. Uh, checked out of the hostel, or yeah, hostel, and now we are back at the cat cafe because I like it here. We're gonna take one home, yes. I already have my favorite, but no, we can't take them home, but I still want to see them again. Cause they're so cute. And guys, they got a new cat, and they got a new cat in the last like 12 hours. And uh, it's a week old. It's literally a tiny kitten. So, yeah. Uh, it's Today especially, um, it's a scorcher. Yeah. Um, last night I had food poisoning, guys. It was awful. I uh, had like cramps when we were at the cat cafe yesterday. And then I got home and yeah, the rest was history. It was uh, not fun, um, but we're good now. A lot better, it's cool, almost better. But yeah, that was not fun at all. I've never had food poisoning before. Why the tube, isn't it too hot? I'm actually wearing the most randomest stuff right now, guys, especially in this weather. So I'm wearing sweats, tank top and a toque. It's like as if it's winter, summer. We can't figure it out. This is my airport attire though. Um, food poisoning. Yeah, I think it was from the salad, guys. Because the salad is washed with the water, I think, from here. And I feel like my stomach can't handle it. So I had like a Caesar salad. I think that was it. Hi, Perla. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, so that that's that. Holy, we're getting so many requests right now. Like, jeez. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good day and, or a good night. I have my flight tonight, but it's not till later. I didn't realize it's not until like, I think eight. So we don't get into Phnom Penh until I think like 10 or 11, it'll be late. Yeah, almost bedtime. Almost bedtime for Kelly. Good to see you back, Kelly. Glad you're feeling better. That was rough. That was not fun. I do not want to have food poisoning ever again. Like, I think it was Kuhn that just had it, and we were just talking about it. And like one week later, I get it. already checked out yeah I'm checked out so now I'm just like hanging uh, kind of around the city until I gotta go which I think is like five or four five five because it's a like domestic flight hi Gia hi Denise same to you happy Monday happy Monday Thank you for subscribing, and what's going on? Jen, thank you. I know you guys are all just like, can we see the cats already? Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. They didn't have the baby one yet. Welcome to the Coco Cat Cafe. These are the sweet cats. They all know me now. I walked in and they're like, hey, I remember you. You smell like Hugo Boss. <laughs> You're the Hugo Boss guy. I'm like, yeah, rock again. I told them, I told the cats, I'm like, You're my therapy. You help me, I help you, I give you food. Sassy Cat's there. I, we don't want to talk about that one. Today, I literally just got the, uh, the treat and I put it down for probably five seconds. Anyways, it like gnawed the treat and it wouldn't give it back to me. And I was like, you sassy cat. And it kept like swiping at me every time I wanted to get it back. Yeah, so sassy cat is sassy. It's a very sassy one. 
I missed you. I missed them. I didn't like that I was like petting the cats and stuff while on live. No, I like that, but I wanted to come back so I could like be more present as I was like petting the cats, you know? So I spent like a good 25, 30 minutes in there. I was like just focused, you know, just uh, taking it. And I was like, yo, these, these cats are just Cambodian cats, you know? These are Cambodian ones. Yeah, so I spent like 30 minutes just like hanging with the cats, drinking my coffee, um, took my pictures, now we're back. Now we come back. All right, should we go inside? Look at the two, uh, look at the two Siamese kitties. Hey. Okay, I don't want to disrupt the people that are like in there because it's like a pretty quiet atmosphere right now. There's like three people hanging out in there, but like they're all just doing their own thing and quiet and relaxing and peaceful and I don't want to come in and be all loud. So maybe we could do like a, a silent cat cafe live. We just go around and see the cats, but we have to be quiet. Theo? Hi, Steph. Where are you headed next? We want a non-pen. Oh, look at this one. This is not the saucy one. This is, this is the other one. They look alike. We want a non-pen and uh, it's like, not too far from here, but it's a 45 minute flight. So, yeah. And I'm there for a week and then we're off to Thailand. Hi, Whelms. Okay, Kelly's ready. She's like, let's go inside. I don't love how the cat's just sitting by the door because I can picture myself opening it and then the rest is history. So let me see if I can squeeze through. See the kitten. Let's see the kitten. Okay. It's sleeping. But actually, let's feed it first. Let's feed them first. Uh oh, this is the saucy one.
Did I close it's it okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, I think this is the sassy one. No, the sassy one is. No, you don't have the sassy one. That's another one. This one? No, this one's cute. This one. Where's the sassy one? I think this one's new. This one's new. But where's uh? We gotta find Molly. Oh, is it crying? It's crying. Can you hold? Okay, look how small it is. Oh my. Can I have him? No, can I take him to Canada? Okay. <laughs> you can ask me both first. <laughs> is he okay? I okay. <laughs> is he this one? He really friendly. Which one is uh, Molly? Molly, that's that. That I tell you, see a bad. Molly's bad. Is that Molly? This one? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Is it Molly? Um, Molly, drink the water. Molly will be back. Molly's hydrating. She's getting ready for sass. Um, I'll show you my favorite. Is this my favorite? No. Well, I like toughness. <laughs> Sleepy. I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna wake them up. kind of far from this one. Hey. <laughs> Trying to get in the show. Hey, Miss Sass. This is the sassy one right here. You're not, though. You're good. Serve first one here. You get it all. Oh, you get it all. Oh. oh my goodness. This is my dream spot. I know. I love it here. Let's go outside for a second. They're all following. I oh, know. Yeah, how cute is the kidding, guys? Oh my goodness. I love it here. We should have a cat cafe in every city. I would definitely go. Yeah. 
and the uh, the TikTok owner started a TikTok channel, or sorry, the cat oh, cat cafe owner started a TikTok channel, and he's at 152 followers. I'm like, let's go, keep it up, keep it up. He's like, I want to like try big on social media. Yeah. I never got a call from the uh, the woman who <laughs> wanted to open a cat cafe with me yesterday. Maybe she just wanted my number and I don't know what she's doing with it, but... <laughs> Hi, Lucia. My stomach still feels kind of like off. Like I feel like I was sick, but I'll probably take a couple days. Who wanted you? I don't think she wanted me. She'll call you when she's back in Canada. You should open one in Canada. This is like, that's a great idea, but imagine those vet bills. I mean, awesome idea. But I guess there's expenses for everything, no matter what kind of business you run, but those would be pretty hefty, uh, pretty hefty vet bills. Gotta marry a vet and then she can help out, you know? But... <laughs> Keep drinking. Yeah, I've been trying to drink lots of water. Um, I'm just really gonna take it easy today. I don't leave until five or four for the airport, so we still got like three, four hours. She's crazy if she doesn't call you. Donations could help, true. True. Hi Mary. Hi Patricia. Hi Peta. Glad you found the cat cafe. I know. It's been like the highlight. The highlight of the trip. Well, one of them. Honestly, that was awesome. Being, being in Asia. I know. Everyone's saying, why beanie? I'm just trying to switch it up. So we're doing a tank top beanie sweatpants combo. It's actually not too hot. I'm good. Hi, Deneen. Can you find one in each location? That'd be awesome. Love cats, thank you. Cats are awesome. Love cats. 14 of them though, you know. I'm married. <laughs> I've never pet one of these cats before, but um, yeah, I mean, that was an experience. That was cool. It was not like what I thought. We're gonna look for a cat cafe in Phnom Penh as well. They're so ugly. Hey, you know, it has feelings. You're not actually ugly. It's what you are in the inside, you know? Hi, Kathy. Are they furry? No, there's no fur. No fur. Shh, can't hear me. I'm gonna tell it. These are the difference between the streets of Cambodia and the streets of Vietnam. Like, look at this. Like, this is Viet uh, this is Cambodia, but like, you would never see this in Vietnam, where like you can cross the street with your eyes closed. Like, it's insane. Um. Yeah. Not as busy. Not as busy. Can we take the kitten home, please? Please. Rock Angel. Rock Angel's been shy. No one needs to be shy. Where are you going next? I'm going to the capital city. Phnom Penh. Was Vietnam fun? It was a lot of fun. Um, very different than Cambodia. I found like Vietnam to be really cultural. Cambodia is cultural, but I found it to be just very like calm. Vietnam wasn't calm. Vietnam was like a little bit hectic. Vinci would love friends, gotta get Vinci a friend. I think if we brought home the kitten, that could be a problem. We're like, we just got this cat a week ago and it's missing. Uh oh. When do you go back to Canada? I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know yet. It's therefore nice there. Okay, that's the one thing I've really noticed for Cambodia. Yes, the people, the locals, probably the friendliest locals. Actually, Thai locals are really nice too. Colombia locals are really nice too. Um, but yeah, Cambodia, Cambodia locals are super friendly. I see a cat in the in your future. I'm already gonna get a cat. Uh, I think I'm gonna get an orange cat. That's the goal. Hi, Amy. Thank you, Moon. We're just gonna take over Coco Cat Cafe and live here. Just start, uh, you know, start a whole life in Siem Reap. Be forever uh, in Cambodia. There's a lot of uh, people that moved here, like permanently from the States that I've met. Hello, hello, hi Jess. My son has an orange cat named Taco. I wanna name my orange cat Tommy. Did you end up going out last night? Oh no, I got so sick. I went out Saturday night. Got really sick Sunday night. Food poisoning. It was not fun. Uh, it was very rough. And so I just kind of chilled. And this morning I woke up, packed. It's one o'clock p.m. here, so it's like the middle of the day. How old are you? I'm 30. Look at you. Hey, how old are you? Is that the sassy one? I think that is a sassy one. No, we would know if it's sassy. We wouldn't question it. Is it the sassy? You guys are so good at like picking out who is the sassy. I think, I don't think it's that one. The other one, the real sassy one, has like kind of like a face. Is that it? Oh, is it? No, it's not it. There's two that look the same. No, it's not, it's the other one. That one is half a sauce, half. NTC, thank you for the finger hearts. Oh, you're the guy who plays video games. Love the content. I love sassy cats. I love sassy everything. But not too much. Just a fine balance of sass and then just, you know? I went to sleep last night. I, I, I know no one's proud. Well, you can tell me you're proud if you, if you mean it, but 3 a.m. last night, I was like, holy, we gotta try for like two. But 3 a.m., woke up at 9.30, I'm like, this is the morning. Allison, thank you. Deneen, thank you for the sweet dreams. At least one last night. Nice, nice. What was the score? I know they were playing. I don't know who they were playing, but what was the score? B, thank you for the hand wave. Hope you feel better slowly. 5-1, oh my goodness, I'm telling you guys. This year. This is the year. This is the year. Do you have times? This is the year. Honey, I'm hanging on by a thread. Gotta say goodnight. Hugs, Marie, I send you my love. You got this. Let's go. Sweet, sleep well. Christina, hello. Hoping for ice day tomorrow, but better get to sleep just in case. Hey! You're not allowed. Okay, good night, Deneen. Oh, do I have pets? I have one cat who's 18 years old. I put my, uh, I put my bag and stuff in my old room, 
my old dorm room because it's always unlocked. So I'm like, all right, we're just gonna leave it there. It's better. Now I can walk around freely. I don't know what my plans are for today. I think I'm just gonna get food when I go back. Maybe post, maybe post. Um, I wish I had a bed. <laughs> I love bed. 494 until 240K. No way. 240K in Phnom Penh. Enjoy your vacations, Blackie. Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. I hate to say it, but the Eagles are losing the Super Bowl game. I don't even know where they're playing, but my intuitions tell me that the Eagles had a great season, but unfortunately, they just had, they couldn't finish. They just couldn't finish. They, yeah, Kansas City is taking it. You heard it here first. It, by the way, we did predict Argentina would win the World Cup, so kind of reliable. Reliable source. Go Chiefs. Let the better team win. Good afternoon. I'm watching from Hong Kong. How are you? I'm in uh, Cambodia right now, so we're not too far away. I think Cambodia borders China. I could be wrong, but I think Cambodia borders China. And if I'm right, then we're touching. We're bordering each other's countries. <laughs> Hi, Allison. Everyone for tapping. Thank you for tapping, guys. Do you want... Yeah, Ro we saw Rock Angel was, like, ready. She was ready for that. Why don't you have a bed? I had to check out, so I got nothing. I could try to sleep in this cat bed. I just don't know if I'd fit, you know? If we just casually rolled up into a ball, I think this might be a good place to hang out until the flight. I don't know if there's space in here. No, I think that's too tight. It's too tight. But. Oh, I have so much cat hair. All right, guys, let's do a uh, Pictionary. Where's all your stuff? Right now it's my room. It's in my old room. But like, I checked out. So hopefully they don't give it to someone else. But I'm gonna go back soon just to get it and then I'll hold on to it. I just didn't want to walk here with a huge bag. Risking it, I know. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, ooh, maybe not the best idea. Can you still hang by the pool? Yeah, apparently I can still like order food from the restaurant, hang by the pool. I'm hanging in sweats and a beanie, so I don't know how prepared I am, but. Yeah. Good night, Kelly, sleep well. Where's the passport? Excellent question. I like the way you think. No, we're good. We kept all the valuables. I kept all the valuables on me. I just left like my bag with my iPad. Now the iPad is locked up. It's locked up. Your hair and the beanie are on point. Thank you. You're on point. Yeah, most important, exactly. Would you rather lose, if you had to lose either your phone or your wallet right now, let's just say you were going shopping and I said you had to lose one or the other, would you rather lose your wallet or would you rather lose your phone what would you rather lose that's a tough one i feel like they're both inconvenient but like if you had to lose one limb what would you rather lose your wallet oh phone most most are wallet i feel like phone for me would be the biggest but that's because i use my phone so much but then again phone has an icloud so everything's backed up a wallet is a pain because you have to get like all your cards again, cancel your visa, yeah, wallet, phone, phone, wallet, we should have done a poll, I can't keep track, okay guys, Pictionary time, should we let the cat draw, it might be better than me, alright, alright, here we go guys, It's not a sour key. 
it's not it's not candy whoops <laughs> whoops oh it's not sour don't put it in your mouth I mean you could but like there's no need to you're like it's lubricant to get into the door no just put it in okay ready first one to get it was uh wait first guess is Lucia wait no it says first guess is Carla Sea Rock Angel Kiki Kiki let's do the Kiki it was Carla good job Carla I don't know why it said two people it said Lucia and Carla okay all right let's do one last one Okay, here we go. <coughs> I don't even have the right colors. How am I gonna do this? This is tough considering I don't have the color. Um, I don't eat this. Can you tell I don't eat this? Two people got it. Good job, guys. Good job. No, I don't eat ladders. I don't eat mirrors. Te I don't eat teachers. These, like, what the heck is that? It's chocolate. It's chocolate. Who is first? Maria. Good job, Maria. Good job, Carla. Good job, Maria. Your winner. Was that good chocolate? How do you draw chocolate? Did look like a waffle. Good job. Good job. Your winner. This always scares me, but I just got a request from someone with 1.8K in the live, and I just can't do that. It's just too many eyes. I don't mind, like, it's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. One more, give me a chance. Okay, last one. Last one, guys. I can draw this either. Um, how do you draw this? I think we're getting worse. I think I'm getting worse in Cambodia. Just wait till my drawings in Thailand, guys. Eight people got it. What happened to the like 20 that used to get it all the time? What's going on? Half of them, half of you guys, like we're slacking. 12. Okay, 13 people got it. And the answer is sink. And the first person to get sink was Debbie reads candy drawer. Good job, reads candy drawer. You're a winner. Don't yell at him. We don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. Do I need to get the sassy cat? 
Do you want? Do I need to get him out? Her. Do I need to get her out? I will bring her if I need to. All right. So don't make me get her. Good job, Debbie. Good job. Yeah, the sassy stay together. It's actually a she. Her name is, uh, what is it again? Molly, I think. Molly. 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 Yeah, no, don't make me get Molly. I will get Molly if you want me to. No, I won't get Molly if you want me to. Only if I need to. She's like backup. She's when I like can't, I can't dish anymore. I just pull her out. She just goes off. So guys, we only have, or uh, yeah, I guess you guys too. I only have, we only have two more days left of January. Uh, it's the 30th for me. So we got one more full day of January, 2023. And what's crazy is we will never, We will never have another January 2023 again. So let's enjoy it. You know? Cats are so cute. I know. She'll swat you down. Where is the time gone? I know, right? I feel like it was like, like the last New Year's that we rang in together at Riri's and Papa's. Riri's and Papa's, Riri and Papa's. Um, that felt like yesterday, but like we already celebrated a full year. We already had another New Year's after that. It's crazy. Crazy, guys. Time's flying. Okay, now we can go. Hi, Jocelyn. How's it going? Okay, I think we're going to go back inside one final time. Two of the three people left, so we can now like talk and say hi to the kitten again. What's the temperature in February? Uh, 20, I think it's 25 there. Hot. Hi, Cade, how are you? We got 91 in the chat. Let's go, guys. What's the kitten's name? I don't know. I gotta figure that out. Um, the girl who was working here didn't even know that they got a new one, so she was also like, holy. So, she doesn't know you there, I'm sure. Thank you, Dee Dee. I just topped. I gave myself a top. Guys, let's go. Thank you, Melanie. Um, much love, Brandy. Okay. Name him Blackie. Okay, let's see if we can do that. We gotta ask for permission. Does the kitten have a name? Does the kitten have a name? This one? No, the, the baby. Um, I don't know, so maybe not yet. Okay, maybe no name. If not, Blackie. This music, so soothing. Okay, let's name it. You are blacky. No, gray. Gray? <laughs> Should make a TikTok. You wanna make a TikTok? Hello, kitty. Oh, that little meow. Can you meow again? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Love it. Do you want to come home with me? I actually have space for you in the bag. I don't have space for any of the other cats, but I can probably squeeze you in there. But you have to get a Canadian citizenship, okay? And you have to be okay with uh, an 18-year-old cat. Um, also, I snore, so you gotta be okay with that. Piece of food? Food? I just want love, I just want love. Oh my. Look at the innocence. Just like pure innocence. Yeah, one week old. I think six days. Six days. Six days old. Welcome to your sixth day of life. How's it going? How's it going? Like, how do I lock him up after this? Damn, where's the mom? I don't know, to be honest. Um, he might just be like a rescue. So, maybe there is no mom right now. But they're really well taken care of here, so... You can tell, they're happy. Those eight to 10 weeks, really? They said she's a week. Ooh. Sharp nails. Go oh, six weeks. Really? No, I don't know, to be honest. I don't want to close this up. I feel so bad. But I have to. Six weeks. Okay, maybe it wasn't six days, six weeks. She said six, so. Climb in. Can I like, can we get a selfie, guys? <laughs> no, keep pedaling. I know. How do I leave you? It's like so small too, like look at the size of his head. So cute, so small. Okay, come home with me, come. Let's go home. Never close this door. She's probably so sick of me opening it. <sighs> there. <laughs> this is the rescue. This is the oldest one. Oh, she's not going to be happy. This is a uh, Miss Sass. You can just look at her and just know. Like, she doesn't even need to open her eyes. Just, just 
sass. That's sass. She's not having it. That's Molly. Molly? Is this one Molly? Yeah. Molly. Molly, do you want to say one more goodbye? Do you say one more? I don't even want to. I'm scared of that. Okay, one more goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good job, Molly. You didn't bite me. Is this one mine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna miss the cats. Sorry? I'm gonna miss the cats. <laughs> yeah, okay. When when you leave Cambodia? Uh, I go to Phnom Penh today. Uh, okay. I'm there oh, for a week. Today. Yeah. So. What time you leave? Uh, I think like 7, 8 p.m. Oh, late, yeah, okay. late at night. So. I think you go at night because you have to see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, oh, I love Phnom Penh. Yeah, they're tired, eh? Thanks for coming by again. Fun. I'm gonna probably take a tuk tuk. We should make a TikTok and a tuk tuk. It's like Inception, you know? Tuk tuk TikTok. Should we do it? Um, so gonna take a gonna take a tuk tuk. No TikTok. Back to the place, and then make grab lunch. And I got a couple hours to just hang out, so thank you for being here, guys. I had to come back because I had such a rough day yesterday, and it made me feel better. And so I'm like, I don't really care what my day is like today. That makes me feel good, so we're going to come back. So I just got that, like, boost of the feels, you know? You know my feels. Hang out by the pool. Yeah. You guys have a good day, too. Be cautious eating. Gotta be really careful. I love salad, so I'm kind of sad that now I can't have salad. Guys, there's nothing like a Caesar salad with chicken or like a Greek salad. Greek salad and Caesar salad and garden salad. Oh man. Can you tell I'm hungry? Um, yeah, so thank you for your love, guys. I appreciate it. I would like to post today, but it just depends on much time I have but also guys uh, I will try to go live when I get to my place in Phnom Penh for you guys it would be like morning time um, probably around noon but I'll try to go live now I want a salad now I don't want to go <laughs> I don't want to leave guys every time I get off live it's not like I'm like Daddy. Thank you, Dottie, for the plane. Let's go. We're taking off. We're ready to go for Phnom Penh. Thank you. Thank you for your love, Dottie. We're going on a trip in our favorite plane. Rocket ship. Um, and... It's gonna be a quick flight, only 45 minutes. Everyone's yelling, dot time. Dot, what's hot dot? Hot dot? Is that, is that our nickname now? Hot dot. Isn't that a candy? Now I want candy. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Do you think I'll be able to find any on the street? On the street? 
I don't know, like, if we walk by someone and, like, I just, we just connect, I'm like, love the view, really, it's kind of like, this is Cambodia for you guys, like, this is just Cambodia for you, it's just how it is, you see how they're just such quiet streets, like, so quiet, so different than Vietnam, like, this is a main road, this isn't just like a side street. It's really hot. Hi, Melissa. Is there McDonald's there? There's no McDonald's in Cambodia. Um, also, there's no like food delivery. So if you're hungry at night, like last night, I was so hungry before bed and I hadn't really eaten in the day because I had food poisoning. But I was so hungry, it was like 2 a.m. I was starving and like, yeah, obviously you can't get food late at night here. So I was like, hey, when I wake up, I'm gonna have the best breakfast. That's like what allowed me to fall asleep. And then like in the morning, I had the best breakfast burrito. I was still hungry. Hi, Patty. How did you do that hard? Kind of cool. Why are you wearing a beanie in a tropical country? I can picture. Why are you wearing? Because. <laughs> because we're trying out different styles and right now we're trying the sweats tank top beanie style. So we want to see if we can rep it in tropical countries too because if we can't rep it here, I don't know if we can rep it at home. This is like the, this is the trial and error right now. I'm still getting a lot of smiles. People are liking it. They're like, who's this guy in a beanie? Why is he in a beanie? Number one question of the day, I know. You guys want to see the hair? That's also kind of why I'm wearing a beanie. No, I don't want to show you. It looks like a mullet right now. Doesn't it look like a mullet? Because I showered and then I went to bed, so my hair in the mornings, if I do that, is like so crazy. And I have to wear a hat. You like it? Bed hair, I got that bed hair. Okay, we're bringing home the Siamese cats. Is that what they're called, Siamese? Wait, you guys like the hair? Oh my goodness, it's such a mess. Do you like it? I don't know how I feel with this like mullet look right now though. You can pull off any look. Look how long, this is what it looks like when it's straight. See how it goes like past my eyes, like, it's so long. I think I'm gonna get a trim in Thailand. Glad you're feeling better, me too. That was, uh, that was pretty rough. I've, I'm not gonna say I was never that sick. Um, Peru was like the worst cough. Peru I couldn't swallow. Peru I was like coughing, couldn't swallow. So it was different sick. Yesterday was like, I think what's scary is just when you're sick in another country too, because you just wanna be home. Like once you're like so sick like that, you just wanna be in your bed. You just wanna be able to like, just when you're like kind of away, like here I was sick and like you could hear all these people like partying, you know, it was just like different. I was like, I just wanna be home, but now we're better. Yeah, so. Nadia's here. Nadia's always quiet. Oh, let's go. Let's go with the crown. How do you always have the uh, the banner? Is that like permanent? 
she always calls me queen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Connie. Yeah, it's a nice day out today. I think I'm just gonna tan. Um, I don't really know what my day looks like. There's a really good pizza place here. So I might go have pizza right now, but I kind of want to just go back to the place. It's like kind of a, it's like a 20 minute walk. So I would walk, but kind of lazy. So we're going to take a tuk tuk. But I hope you guys have a great night's sleep and have an amazing, amazing start to your month. Sorry. Have an amazing amazing start to your Monday thank you so much reads chest thank you Sylvia the gold mine no there's no vents outside so we're gonna assume it's from the sky it's a blue sky day today Have a good day, you too, guys. You too. Thank you for always being here. For not just me, but each other. Thank you for the train, Sylvia and Jen for the hand hearts. Thank you guys for your love always. Um, love Sam Reap. Honestly, like I have nothing bad to say about Sam Reap. I think the problem was I had too many little things happen to me throughout this trip, but it had nothing to do with the place. So I really like Sam Reap. Like I really like Cambodia. Um, Ready saw Angor Watt. Thank you, Lynn, for the roses. You're welcome. You're welcome for uh, the tour. Fashionista, good to see you. Randolin. Yeah, no, I really liked it here. Honestly, I think I liked it here more than even Ho Chi Minh City. I just was like in a different headspace. So I feel like I was really chill in Ho Chi Minh City, whereas I feel like it was harder for me to stay present and see I'm reap, but not because I wasn't enjoying it. I really like to hear. So uh, off to Phnom Penh next, which is the capital city. I hope it's okay. Been hearing kind of mixed things. Um, got a week there, so we'll make the best out of it. And then we are off to Thailand. So it's exciting, guys. We got a lot to look forward to. But I hope you guys enjoy the start of your week. Keep your head up when things happen in the week that kind of bring you down or make you sad or upset or irritated just kind of talk to yourself for the week and say i'm going to try to make it a good one so anything that happens you're not so much easier said than done but the more you talk to yourself the more you're aware of how you feel and the things you're going through the easier it is to cope right so just take it one hour at a time one minute at a time whatever is at your pace just breathe breathe and just try to chill you know like life is serious but at the same time life isn't serious you know like we have to take life seriously but at the same time not too serious there's 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 playroom right like there's room for like mistakes there's room for growth um so don't take it too seriously just enjoy it every day is a new day and uh wake up and treasure every moment because one day we're going to be looking back on even right now. And you might be looking back on it saying, oh my goodness, I was so happy. You don't know really until sometimes the aftermath of what a memory is like. So you might look back on today's memory and it might be something that makes you smile. Even though right now it might be, might be hard for you to smile. It could be something that makes you smile in the long run just because it was a life experience and you got something out of it. So. No more thinking about our past, our future. Stay as present. That's, I'm continuing to work on that on this trip. Stay present, but uh, it's not always easy. But you will always continue to try. Yeah, I need to try and laugh through it. Exactly. We gotta laugh at our mistakes. Like I made a really stupid mistake on this trip. Um, I got kind of scammed, but like not really, kind of. But um, you learn, right? You learn. Um, I think overall, everything that you do allows you to prepare more and more for the future. And who knows what our future holds, right? There's always things going on. So, 
All right, guys, I love you a ton. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will not be live until I am in Phnom Penh, but thank you so much for being here as always, and I hope you guys sleep well, and we'll say bye to the kiddies. They send their love to you, and I send my love to you. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? Whatever is going on in your life right now, everything's gonna be okay. All right, everything ends up always working out. So you never have to stress or worry about things not going a certain way. Even if they don't go away that you have planned, it's all gonna work out anyways. All right, love you a ton guys and we'll see each other soon.